Hey guys, Trevor here, and in this video, I'm going to help you fix iMessage or FaceTime activation error. It's pretty quick and easy, so let's jump right in. I have iMessage open here. Say if you're like typing in a random message and it's not getting sent over to the other person, I just sent myself a text. Um, but if you're, you know, trying to send an iMessage and it's just not working, or trying to FaceTime somebody and it's just not working. I'll walk you through a couple of the reasons and how to fix that. The first thing that you'll want to do is make sure that you have a good internet connection. So if your Wi-Fi isn't great, you can swipe down from the top right here and then just toggle off Wi-Fi and get on you know, cellular data, LTE or whatever. And then what you'll want to do is check and make sure that your internet speed is working and fast enough. So I just went to Google and typed in speed test you can just hit run speed test. If this is anything over than maybe say 10 megabytes per second, then it's fast enough to do iMessage. You probably want 15 or 20 megabytes per second in order to do FaceTime or anything. You can see mine is plenty fast enough. So that works and that seems okay. So if your internet is fast enough, the next thing you'll want to do is get out of here and tap on settings. And then we'll just want to scroll down and then first we'll tap on messages here. Once you're on messages, just toggle off iMessage and then toggle it back on. So that's all you have to do for this. It might ask you for your iCloud password again, so just log back in if it does ask you for that. Another thing you'll want to do is go to the bottom here under message filtering filter unknown senders you will want to make sure you toggle that off if this person isn't in your contact book so this will basically kind of filter out any um, basically text messages that you know uh, your iPhone thinks might be spam if they're from an unknown sender so toggle that off and then the next thing you want to do is go into FaceTime here and do the same thing here you will just toggle that off and then you can toggle it back on from there and then that's it so once you go through in those two steps uh, make sure you've toggled those back on and then off uh, then you want to quit out of everything you might want to close everything you might want to restart your iPhone if it still doesn't work but hopefully going through all of those steps your iMessage and FaceTime are now working and working as normal hope this helps let us know if you have any questions in the comments below Make sure to subscribe. Thanks.